Robotic mowers are similar to walk behind mowers, but a lot easier. No grass disposal, no petrol, no cable in the way, no manual mowing. They keep your lawn nicely maintained every day of the season. Oh, and the best part, you don't have to do a thing. Despite fundamentally doing the same job, robotic and walk-behind mowers work on different principles. Whilst walk-behind mowers can cut up to several centimetres, robotic mowers trim the grass by a few millimetres. The tiny grass clippings are left on the lawn and break down quickly to provide a natural fertiliser. This helps retain more moisture, meaning less watering is necessary, while also reducing weed growth. How does a robotic mower know where to cut? Initially, the robotic mower will need to be installed and programmed. The installation requires pegging a wire around the perimeter of your garden and any objects that the mower should avoid. After a few weeks, the wire will naturally sink into the ground. How about recharging? Most robotic mowers have a charging station that can be placed on the edge of the lawn. When the battery is low, the mower will return to its station independently. It will charge until full and then carry on mowing. Are robotic mowers easy to program? Yes. Robotic mowers can be programmed directly on the mower display or if the mower is connected via an app. Due to the cutting blades on robotic mowers being significantly smaller than on a walk behind mower, it takes longer to cut the lawn. How often and how long to cut depends on the size of the lawn. Most robotic mowers will give you a schedule recommendation based upon a manually entered lawn size. More advanced mowers calculate the lawn size and estimate grass growth, proposing an optimal schedule. And what about energy efficiency and noise? Robotic mowers use around the same amount of energy as a light bulb. They're also very quiet, with sound level comparable to this conversation. How about mowing in the rain or on slopes? Robotic mowers are designed to be weatherproof, so rain will not harm them. However, some mowers have a rain sensor to avoid cutting in the rain, as this can lead to grass clippings getting stuck to the mower. Robotic mowers can cut on inclines. Capacity to climb varies from model to model, so make sure you check the specifications. Is there a difference in cutting patterns? There are two types of mowing systems available. Some mowers have intelligent navigation and map out the lawn to plan an efficient mowing path. They cut in parallel lines and know which part of your lawn has already been cut. This efficient way of mowing gives you more undisturbed time in your garden, while also preserving battery capacity. Other robotic mowers cut randomly. As a result, they are likely to cut some areas several times, requiring more time and battery capacity to complete the lawn. What about robotic mower safety and security? The blades will stop immediately if the robotic mower is lifted or turned over. They also have bump sensors, so they stop cutting and move away from unexpected lawn encounters. The safety distance between the outer body and the centrally mounted blades prevents hands or feet reaching the blades accidentally. Despite all this, keep young children and pets away when the robotic mower is running. Robotic mowers also come with alarms that are triggered when the mower is lifted, as well as pin codes that must be entered to restart the mower. What about connected technology? Connected robotic mowers can be controlled via an app, receive over-the-air software updates and send notifications if the mower needs attention. Some robotic mowers can even be voice controlled or connected to other smart devices using IFT. There are different connected solutions, such as long-range connectivity, allowing control from anywhere via a mobile network or radio. Others have short-range connectivity, such as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Finally, don't forget to take care of your robotic mower. Make sure you frequently free the mower from grass clippings. Avoid washing the mower with a hose or high-power pressure washer. Instead, use a brush. It's also recommended to replace the blades at least once per season and to store the mower and its docking station inside during the winter. So, now that you know a little bit more about robotic mowers, you're just one step away from a beautiful lawn.